Hello there guys and welcome to what is our first this was, was it gonna be our first Java gaming uh, game programming tutorial uh, it's gonna be our first one in this tutorial we're gonna this is gonna be a multi uh, it's gonna be a series of tutorials but for our first game we're gonna go ahead and write uh, an asteroids game to so that very famous asteroids game you guys um, might have been played in the arcade uh, like as in in the online or so uh, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and write that and that's gonna be this tutorial. Uh, basically, the writing that game uh, is gonna take um, a, a, a basically um, a few tutorials to do that. We, we can go ahead and type everything uh, in one tutorial. We can do that, but it will it will be extremely long. It's gonna be a long tutorial, and I don't wanna do that. So we're gonna have a, a part by part tutorial. And our first tutorial here, we're gonna go ahead and create a new project and basically declare our variables that some variables we will need for our first class. And also, we're gonna have. Um, uh, and we're gonna have uh, we're gonna go ahead and define some of our uh, methods, basically our accessing data methods. So for my ID, I'm using Eclipse, as you can see. You can you can use any other ID, or you can use Notepad, or so on, uh, or you can use NetBeans, and many others. But from in, in my case, I'll be using Eclipse. And to get started, we're gonna go ahead and get started by creating. So going to File here and creating a new project. So let me go File New and Java Project. Let's go ahead and call our project Asteroids, basically the name of the game. And finish. We see our folder being created here. Click on that, extend that, and go to source folder. And I'm going to add a new package here. I'm going to call it Asteroids, well, short, as AST, R for Asteroids, and pack for package. So we can have our source files in here. So let's go ahead and create a new class file here and let's name it I'm gonna call it asteroids let me call it shape let's call it vector shape since we're gonna be using vector so we're gonna use in shapes to create our ships here vector shape and let's go ahead and hit finish here Now inside our main here, inside our um, vector shape class here, let's go ahead and we need to import a package here first of all. To do to do that, we type import and let's go ahead and type Java awt and then shape. So we will need in this library in order to use the function some, some of the functions located in the library. And let me. I'm gonna be putting comments here so you guys can better understand. Once you go back and read your code, you can better understand. And you can put your own comments so you can better get a better uh, idea what you're going, what's going on. So uh, we we'll begin, as I mentioned before, we we'll begin by basically declaring our variables. So to do that, uh, I'm gonna just leave a comment here saying um, variable declaration section here and let me go ahead and begin by declaring our variables here first we need a shape variable here I'm gonna call my shape so we can have our ship and basically uh, so basically our ship is gonna be a triangular shape as you've seen in the game so we need a shape variable here and we also need a boolean variable and let's call it private boolean and we're gonna call it a live and this will basically keep track if the ship has been destroyed or not, so if we're alive or not, create another variable here, double variable, and call it x and y. So this will be our locations, so where the ship or our ship is located exactly on the screen while we're playing. And let's type, and we need another variable here, and let's call it vel x for velocity and vel y for velocity y. So this is going to be velocity is basically. Um, Make sure I type double here. So velocity is basically um, acceleration with direction. So we're basically going to keep track how fast we're going in the x direction, how fast we're going in the y direction. And then let's go private double. And let's type here uh, angle. So let's type move angle. So this is going to be the angle which we're moving, which angle we're moving on, and um, face angle. So basically, um, where where is our uh, ship's head basically where the bullets come out of located 
so we keep track of those angles also we need to keep track so we know where exactly we are on the screen next let's go ahead and I'm gonna put a comment here so you guys know and in this block I'm gonna we're gonna have our basically uh, met some of our methods and I'm gonna say here um, I'm gonna call this accessing data methods so these methods are gonna be kind of like th these are gonna be getters so once we need so once we need a value, so, so once, once let's say we need where to know the x location of the ship. So where is the ship located on on the screen? To do that, we need to get the x and y location, so we know exactly where the ship is located in the screen. So we need methods for all of these things to get those. So we need we need to get the shape, we need to get the state of the ship if it's dead or not, the angle which is facing, how fast it's going exactly, uh, when where exactly it's located. So that's why we need these getters here, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna call this section the let me just say the accessing data methods. I'm gonna put here section. All right, so let's go ahead and start uh, start typing our code here. So we're gonna type public our first function here shape. So we need to get the shape, and I'm gonna call it get shape. And all we need to do is return. So type return. And shape, which we which we declared up here, shape as you see. We need. Let's go ahead and type for our second one here. We need our. So we're gonna have a boolean, and we're gonna call it is alive. So is our ship alive or it has been destroyed? And what we need to return is we need to return the state. To do that, we, we return the variable we declared, which is alive. Return alive, as you see in our data section variable declaration section here alive. Let's go ahead and public and type double here and get x. So let's get our x location here. Oops, so we don't need a 9 here, we need a parenthesis. There we go. And let's go ahead and return our x location. So this one will basically return or tell us where exactly uh, on the x-axis is the ship located on the screen. And get rid of this parenthesis here. And now we need to do the same thing for the y-axis. To do that, let's get the y and return the y. So this will tell us where the ship is exactly located in the y direction, up and down. So combined together, the x and y will tell us the exact location on, of, of the ship in, in the in the screen or on on the screen there. M m when we basically play the game, so we will know exactly where the ship is because we need to know the exact location of the ship at, at all times. Next, we need to get the velocity. So to do that, let's have another function here. Now the getter, so let's call it get velx. So actually, uh, our naming conventions here are clearly basically, we basically our name is going to be the exactly the same as our variable, except with the get. So we uh, we know exactly what our functions are doing, and this will just get the velocity. So how fast our ship is moving on the x-axis. We need to do the same thing for the y-axis. To do that, public double get the get velocity y and we return the y and finally we need to get our moving angle which angle we're actually um, which direction I mean which angle exactly is our ship traveling and where is our face basically the point of the ship facing where the bullets are coming out of so to do that we type public double and then we let's say get move angle and and we need to return so to get our angle here, we need to type move angle. Just return our angle. Alright. And let's go ahead and do the same thing for our face angle. So public double, get face angle. And let's go ahead and return face angle. Alright. So this tutorial is going up to 10, so I'll try to keep this tutorial basically around 10 minutes or so. So for this tutorial, basically what we, what we did is basically we declared our variables. We have our vector shape class here, which is going to be, this is going to be kind of like our main class. We're going to have uh, four more classes, which is going to be our, sh our shape class, our bullet class, and our asteroids class. So we have four classes in total here. Um, basically each class will define for, it will be, it will have methods and definitions for that particular object. For this one here, this will basically keep track of everything. So we get the x location of everything. Basically, this will keep track of the um, 
the asteroid movies on the screen, where the asteroids are, where the ship is, where the bullets are, and so on. So this is our main class, and basically this will this will have basically most of most of our methods, and we'll, so we, these methods will be inherited by the other classes, and so on. But that's for our future tutorials. For this tutorial, we just define. We we have our variables declaration section here, so we declared our variables and our accessing so our and our accessing data methods, which are which are our getters in our shape, uh, in our case. So this this was our first tutorial here. In our next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and define our our setters. So we need setters and getters. Next tutorial, we're going to we setters basically do data manipulation. So we basically update the states of the ship. So um, once we get a, a a new state in the ship, basically we're going to the setters or the data manipulators would will change the state. So basically, if the ship is moving from location um, uh, zero 01 on the screen to zero 02, then the setters will update that, and then the getters, which are our uh, accident, and then our getters can see um, the new update, and then we know. Uh, then we basically have the latest update. So we need both our setters and our getters. In our in this tutorial, we'll define our we did define our getter uh, our getters. So now we all need to define our setters and basically known as the data manipulators. That's going to be in our second tutorial, which which is going to be called Asteroids um, Part 2. And thank you for watching this tutorial, guys. This is going to be an exciting series of tutorials. And we're going to talk about our first game, basically, as I mentioned, is our Asteroids game, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty nice game and it's been around for long, for decades now. And, our, so on, and next, uh, once we're done typing or basically... Uh, once we done, once we completed writing this game, we're gonna go ahead and start with a new game, with a new idea, and a little bit more advanced. Uh, but thank you for watching this tutorial, guys. Please watch all my other series of tutorials, guys. And if you, and if you, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and stick around for our second part, um, which uh, second part of this tutorial, which is our first gaming uh, Java gaming programming tutorial, which is gonna be we're gonna be defining our setters or our data manipulators. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and rate the videos and leave messages guys. We'll be back with another tutorial extremely soon. Thank you for watching.